Princess Elizabeth Alexandra Mary was born on April 21st, 1926, and her life has seen incredible events in the history of Great Britain. During the first few years of Elizabeth's time on Earth, Scottish inventor John Baird showed off his newfangled invention, the television. In 1928, women over the age of 21 were given the vote, and the campaign for an independent Scotland was begun by the Scottish National Party. But life for the little princess would change drastically in 1936, when her uncle became king, and then abdicated the throne to be with his love, American divorcee Wallace Simpson, making Elizabeth's father king and Elizabeth heir presumptive. Despite 1939's Munich Agreement, Britain eventually declared war on Germany after its invasion of Poland, and World War II was well on its way. Britain suffered great wartime losses, but when it was over, the empire was ready to regroup and move forward, hosting the 1948 Olympic Games in London. In 1952, Princess Elizabeth became queen. Her Majesty Elizabeth II, by the grace of God of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and of her other realms and territories, Queen, head of the Commonwealth, defender of the faith, to be exact. The Brits won the World Cup in 1966, and in 1969, England introduced the world to the first supersonic airliner, the Concorde, developed in partnership with France. By 1980, Britain had its first female prime minister, and in 1981, Elizabeth's son, Prince Charles, married Lady Diana Spencer. By the end of the 1980s, the Social Democratic Party had merged with the Liberal Party to form what would later be known as the Liberal Democrats, and English computer scientist Tim Barners-Lee had invented the world-changing World Wide Web. Due to many troubles, including the failure of all three of her children's marriages, the Queen referred to 1992 as her Annus Horribilis. 1994 saw London connected to Paris via the Channel, and in 1997, Britain gave Hong Kong back to China. Twelve years into the 21st century, the Queen celebrated her Diamond Jubilee, 60 years on the throne, and London hosted the Olympic Games again. Then, on September 9, 2015, Elizabeth became the longest ruling monarch in British history. And on April 21st of this year, Her Royal Highness will celebrate her 90th birthday, 90 years since 1926, the year of her birth, and the last time we saw our friends at Downton Abbey. And that's History 101.